This is Kukunet. I'm Juliet. I literally just got home and this is a follow-up video to my last video regarding my um, eyelash enhancement tattoo. So in case you guys are not sure what I'm referring to, I've linked a I've left a link below to my prior video in case you have no idea what I'm talking about. So um, I, just in case, let me um, briefly uh, rehash what the to topic was in my prior video. Um, as you know, I, I hate makeup. I can't stand it. And uh, ooh, being that I'm blonde, if I don't have um, mascara on or eyeliner on, I look super duper washed out. And it's just, um, I'm not a fan of it. I don't I don't feel good like that. And I, I refuse to put eyeliner on. It's um. I, I just I just don't like makeup. I just don't like makeup. So for me, having a procedure like this is life changing. So that that's what this video is about. I literally just got home from having my um eyelash enhancement uh, tattoo done on my eyes. And um, before you give this video a thumbs down, uh, don't get scared because at least eighty percent of the pigment's gonna fade in the first week. And I had my, I have a, I have a, I have a real uh, beauty mark here, which I had in hands because I'm sick of um, drawing it on all the time. And this is going to fade 80%. It's not going to look anything like this. And um, my eyes are really swollen right now. So I'm just going to show you guys, this is um, day one, one hour post having it done. So I'm going to remove my glasses and show you guys. And again, do not get scared. This is not the final result. So... So this is it. As you can see, the, the top one looks really nice and the bottom one looks super duper harsh as if someone took a black permanent marker and they drew a line on my eye. And yes, I'm 100% aware that it looks really, really bad. Again, this is perfectly normal. This, it, it's gonna fade, it's just, that's just the way it is. This is day one. So I'm going to show you guys the whole healing process and then I'm going to do an update two weeks post procedure and then you're going to see a huge difference, huge, huge difference from what it is now to what it's going to be a week from now, two weeks from now. But to already now it's making my eyes like pop, like bam. <laughs> it's like really, really, um, I gotta go like this. As you can, my eyes are really bloodshot. They're super swollen. So, um, yeah, this is what my eyes look like one hour after having it done. And again, I don't want to keep repeating myself like a nut job, even though I am a nutcase that, you know, this is not the result. It's going to fade drastically. But yeah, so cocoon it. So that's it. And of course, once I'm able to get my eyelash extensions, it's going to look so much better. It's going to look amazing when I get my eyelash extensions. Oh my gosh, I just realized I'm full of ink. This is all like ink from the tattoo. And of course, I have a freaking zit right there, of course. And my eyes are so red and so beaten up and um, I look like crap, you guys. I've really been like beaten up pretty bad with this. But um, it'll be much better in a few days because I just have to let this stuff heal. And I basically have to make sure I keep uh, my beauty mark and I have to look up and also get... Uh, the, he, the, she gave me a little... um, kind of looks like a Q-tip, but it's not. I have to keep the, the tattoo area moist with this 24 hours a day for the next seven days because you do not want it to scab because if this dries out, it sounds gross, but it's gonna form a scab and then you're gonna pull the pigment right out. So not a good idea. So here's like a super duper close up. And I don't know how well it's showing up on video, but my eyelids are so swollen. Like they're like super swollen up here. It's sw more swollen here, so it looks like the pigment's all uneven because the swelling's not even. Yeah, it might, and it's all red. So, cause you know, it's only been a few hours since I had it done. Mm. 
来说呢，这就是，嗯 ，gonna eat this bird. I'm gonna eat you, Jolene. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you alive, Geraldine. <laughs> You guys want to see him dance? In case someone's wondering um, if, there, if, if this was painful or not, honestly, it was it was a breeze. It was so simple, you know, because they numb your eye. And if the numbing cream starts to wear off, you know, you're going to feel it and you say, hey, give me some more numbing cream. And they put numbing cream on it for 10 minutes or so. And then you literally can't feel anything. Like, just take a, a, a pen and just go like this lightly like, onto your, your skin. It's just tickling. It was, it was not painful at all. So if you're wondering if it was painful or not, absolutely not. On a scale of one to 10, it was a zero. It wasn't even a one. <laughs> Cause you know, that's, but if there was no such thing as a numbing cream, there was no way in hell you could even get this done. <laughs> Cause you know, this area is so sensitive. Good morning. This is, I literally just woke up. So this is what my eyes look like uh, the morning after. And my eyelids are even more swollen now. They're like, they're not like super duper swollen, but they're definitely more swollen than they were yesterday. Oh, that's better. I put my hair up, which is my favorite way to wear my hair. And, um, and then of course I put a crap load of ointment on my tattooed areas way too much of it but i'm kind of paranoid i really really want to take care of this tattoo and make sure that it heals properly and retains as much pigment as possible because as this fades during the healing process which it is going to quite drastically i want to make sure that the end result is worth it because you know if i don't take care of it and i let it dry out all the pigment's going to disappear and then a week from now you're not even going to be able to see the tattoo at all. It's pretty cool. So far, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm just very, very nervous. Very nervous to see how much pigment is actually going to retain. My fear is that in a week, it's going to be completely gone. You're not going to be able to see it. Like, like, the, like the first two times I had it done. This is. I just woke up on day two after having it done. And this is what my eyes look like. The swelling has gone, I think, completely down now. I literally just woke up. This is day number four. And I can already see um, all the swelling, of course, is gone. And I'm already seeing pigment disappearing. So I already know just by what it looks like right now that by day seven, it's going to be like completely gone. <laughs> So I've had this done, uh, wait, yeah, three times. By the time this is healed, you're not even gonna be able to see it. Like, it, it's gonna do nothing for me. It, this is, I, I don't know, I'm getting aggravated because, I don't know, it's just, uh, <laughs> the pigment doesn't seem to wanna stay in my skin. Uh, oh well. Okay, it's been exactly one week since I had my eyeliner and my little uh, beauty mark done so i'm gonna give you guys a close-up
And I've been, I've been taking such care of this tattoo, it's not even funny. I've been like seriously babying it, making sure it, it never ever dries out. I've been following all the protocol, all the rules, and I'm actually um really impressed. This has never happened before that an entire week after having it done that you can still see the pigment because normally by seven days after having it done, literally... 100% of the pigment that's visible to naked eye is completely gone. So I'm impressed that this little, the ink is holding on. But so far, I can definitely see I'm going to need more more ink put in there because it's uh, not exactly the, the look I'm going for. I'm look, going for this look, which is a beautiful, you know, smudge, smoky look. And this is not quite it, but um, for me... Personally, the way my body likes to break down ink like ridiculously fast, so far I'm very, very impressed that I even have ink at all left in my skin right now. Okay, it's officially two weeks post procedure, and as you guys can, and as you guys can see, I still have pigment, which I'm super relieved about, and I am my, and my beauty mark is also hanging on. You guys can see. So I'm gonna put some mascara on. So in summary, uh, I hate to say it, but um, I still don't know what my results are going to be because I need a few more touch-ups because right now, I would not even pay 20 bucks to have results like these. My beauty mark is okay, but my whole eyeliner area, I would not even pay five or $20 for this. So I definitely need some more um, touch-ups before I can properly assess and evaluate the results on me. Um, so you'll have to stay tuned for some future videos. I'll make them shorter. Um, I'm definitely gonna get some more touch-ups. I don't know if I'm going back to the same person, might go to someone else, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure yet what my results are gonna be because um, I need some more touch-ups before I can properly um, have a, 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 a accurate uh, opinion on this procedure on me specifically. Well, guess what? I just booked my touch-up um, January 7th, so um, that's why I'm gonna give this another shot because the more I'm conversing with uh, semi-permitted makeup techs, uh, you know, everyone's body's different. I'm, I'm skeptical, you guys. I don't know, I mean, it is, I mean, it is holding pigment better than the first two times because the first two times I got the, the line way too thin. So um, we'll see. So I'll be posting another video on my uh, fourth attempt to get this done. <laughs> so let's see how that happens. So hope you guys enjoy this video and um, hope I didn't babble too much. Gosh darn it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and putting up with me. Bye. Don't remove the Asian lama. I long, long time ago. The time of the apocalypse, the dream of the lasting peace. I tell you what, value your modern life.